beloved hearts of love's eternal presence, I, Mary Magdalene, enfold you this day with the love of my own heart's flame, and I ask you to consciously receive this divine love. Take a deep breath and breathe it in. As the victorious Christ has stated, all of humanity must awaken as quickly as possible, not only to the truth of their source of existence, yet also to individualize in their lives the source of their existence. We do this, precious hearts, by growing into greater states of consciousness that begins to embrace the divine polarity of our divine source, the mother-father consciousness that is the source of all our lives. As you may know by now, the divine origins of our beingness is that we are all spiritual beings of divine consciousness. And that state of consciousness is a divine polarity, a perfect divine balance of light and love that contains no shadows or opposites. No longer do most human beings live in this consciousness of divine polarity. Rather, they live in a lower human consciousness of duality that includes the pairs of opposites that can be simply identified as good and bad. And most of this consciousness fed by a range of compromised emotions that may include fear, hurts, and wounds to the degree that it is the human state of duality consciousness that has produced all the problems in the world today. The means to rise up and out of this lower human consciousness and back up into divine consciousness that is the polarity of light and love is known as the resurrection. The raising activity of consciousness that is represented by the resurrection of our mental and feeling side of life is accomplished by awakening to the truth of who you are, why you are here, and embracing the tools that allow your resurrection into higher states of consciousness until you finally leave behind forever expressing the lower consciousness of duality that is causing all the problems in the world and the personal lives of the many people. These tools include finding a spiritual path that offers you the truth that you can study offers you life-changing meditations and offers you a more comprehensive understanding and application of personal prayers and decrees. As one embraces their spiritual growth and resurrection of their consciousness, one begins to experience and see the changes in themselves and their world. When I and Christ were on the earth along with the other disciples, yet unreported in the New Testament, was Christ always trying to teach us of a higher state of consciousness that we must recognize was buried deep within us covered over with the lower state of consciousness and the efforts we must make to rise up 
into these higher states of consciousness that actually were our inheritance from the divine source of our lives. The great awakening that is happening on the earth now will be accomplished much quicker and much easier if you all realize that we are given to individualize and express the source of our existence, that source being a divine consciousness, a perfect polarity of divine light and divine love. And recognize the light is represented and expressed through our minds, and the love is represented and expressed through our hearts. Further to this comes the understanding that the polarity of divine light and mind is the Father, or the divine masculine consciousness side of life, and the polarity of divine love, and the heart is the mother, or divine feminine consciousness of life. You will all expand more quickly if you recognize that one cannot fully expand the light, the mind, the divine masculine side of life, without harnessing and expanding the love, the heart, the divine feminine side of life. This is of vital importance and what I hold sacred as to how I, Mary Magdalene, may serve each of you to help you honor and respect the divine feminine side of life so that your resurrection up into and expressing the polarity of divine consciousness occurs as quickly as possible. Here, let me assure you, there are no opposites in the polarity of divine consciousness. Human duality consciousness is charged with qualities that oppose each other, not in the divine consciousness, where all qualities complement each other light and love, peace and harmony, beauty and creativity, prosperity and sharing, and on and on. Now you all have physical bodies that appear as masculine or feminine, yet the truth is that through your mind and your heart you are each given and capable of expressing perfectly and in a balanced way the polarity of divine light through your mind and mental side of life and the polarity of divine love through your heart and feeling side of life. Failing to honor and respect this polarity in others as well as in yourself, slows down your spiritual progress. Now in the outer world, the masculine side of life has ruled over the feminine side for centuries of time. And this imbalance has caused every problem and challenge in the world. Only now are we seeing those in feminine bodies being more respected and honored. Yet there are places in your world where there is not the case. Again, I repeat, unless there is a conscious effort, and that includes all of you who are awake today, unless there is a conscious effort to acknowledge, realize, 
and accept this polarity of masculine and feminine within yourselves, regardless of what type of body you are living within, you will slow down your spiritual progress and your resurrection into higher states of consciousness. So let's take care of this, beloved hearts. This process begins with each of you. For eons of time, people have used mostly the masculine side of life, the mind. Yes, now there are many who are doing their best to live from their hearts as well. So there is progress here. Yet all of you who are awakened and or begun your awakening, I merely say to you, your spiritual progress in becoming a spiritual being of divine consciousness will unfold more graciously, more quickly, if, if you make greater effort to acknowledge, honor, and respect your own divine feminine side of life. Remind yourselves to live from your heart. Invite your heart and feeling side of life to positively influence how you use your mind to influence your thinking and speaking process. Say to yourselves often, giving yourself permission to feel deeply. Honor your feelings and heart. They are the divine feminine side of you. And let me remind you what Mother Akasha has taught you, that your personal will, your will to live, to be, to do. This will side of life is sourced in your feeling body, not your physical body. And remind you too that there is four times the amount of energy stored in your feeling body than in your mental body. So, Time to feel, precious hearts. Perhaps close your eyes once in a while and give yourself permission to feel how precious life is. Remember, too, that you are given a mind to conceive. Yet it is your heart and feeling side of life that makes real all that you conceive in your minds. Fulfillment is found in the feeling feminine side of life. And it seems to me, your world requires much more loving fulfillment. Therefore, it is the feminine loving side of life that must be more acknowledged. Ask yourselves often, how may I honor my feeling side of life today? Listen with your heart, and you may be quite surprised as to the answer you get. Also understand it is the feeling side of life that builds and expands your conscience, your intuitions, and your higher sensitivities to divine energies and vibrations. So as you take steps to do this, then begin to honor those who live in feminine physical garments. Respect them for their brave hearts 
to embody in a feminine body when history has not been kind to those born in female bodies. Ask yourselves, how might I acknowledge, honor, and respect the divine feminine side of life in myself and in others? Realize, too, that your own inner guidance will seek to use your feelings. Calm and balance your feelings so that you can receive your own inner guidance from your own inner God nature. You may not like to hear this, precious hearts, yet I tell you a truth, that when there is turmoil in your feelings, your emotions, you are placing such unkind pressure on your feminine side of life. And when you do this, you are not honoring her. Yes, her, your heart and feelings. When this happens, use your mind. Choose to feel joy, peace, and harmony. When you feel disturbance in your emotions, Take ten minutes and get into St. Germain's violet purifying flames. Use a violet purifying flame mantra and ask your I am God presence, St. Germain and his angels, to blaze such a concentration of violet purifying flames purity through you and take out of you whatever disturbing emotions that might be upsetting your feeling side of life. Try me out, precious hearts. Just determine that for the next few weeks that you will do everything to live from your hearts. Do everything you can to honor the feminine side of life within yourself and find opportunities to honor and respect the feminine feeling side of life in others, women and men, and find opportunities to honor and respect those who have been brave enough to embody into this world in a female body. Please do this determinedly for two weeks and see for yourself how much better you feel. See and experience a greater depth in your meditations and notice how you are evolving through your spiritual studies that much more quickly. I feel you will love the results. And then this will become a new way of life for you. As you do this, there will be great benefits too in your physical body. May I remind you today that the Anchorage Place where your life force anchors in your body is your heart. Yes, your heart. And your heart is feminine in nature, regardless of whether you are born in a male or female body. When your body was conceived in your mother's physical body, her body was the life force to your unborn body. Yet once you were born, your life force immediately came down from your higher self, the I am God presence. And where do you think your life force anchored? In your physical heart, beloved ones. 
your heart receives and holds your life force. Speak kindly to your heart. Bless the life force that beats your heart. Realize that life force is to be the beginning of a loving relationship with your God source. I tell you, precious hearts, I truly wished you would quickly come to know, appreciate, acknowledge, respect, and honor the feminine side of your own life and that of others. There is so much unfulfillment in people's lives. Well, guess what, beloved hearts? It is the heart, feeling, and divine feminine side of life that is the source of our fulfillment. That is God using our feminine side of life to fulfill the life we are given. Mother Akasha in the Radiant Rose Academy seeks to offer you, help you to access the most wonderful, creative, fulfilling aspect of your life, that being your soul. Well, let me tell you that is wonderful, and these soul studies are what is required now. Yet truly, I ask you, if mother helps you to open the door to your soul so that your magnificent creative soul can express through you, do you think that door will remain open if there are times that you close your heart? Your heart is your channel to the best part of you that being the Christ and soul consciousness. So you best remind yourself to keep your hearts wide open and to live from your heart daily so that the path to Christ and soul consciousness is one that is wide open for each of you to embrace. And of course, I have been given the opportunity to speak at some of the Academy's events and teach of the greatest hidden force in everyone's feeling body, that being the Magdalene Force, which is my ascended gift that I represent to life. Truly, some of you are ready to experience the mightiest force in the universe, the stuff that makes us superheroes. Yet for this to be, there must be a determined decision and choice for divine harmony and essential harmlessness acting in your lives 100% of the time. Once you have accomplished this, you will all begin to experience a new force in your life. A force this world has not seen or witnessed. I am dedicated to helping you achieve complete divine harmony in your feeling side of life so that your entire life on earth moving forward is one of essential harmlessness. As I do this, Mother Akasha guides you 
upon your path of divine consciousness. The Christ offers to assist those who seek to resurrect their lives to living and expressing Christ consciousness. Great Germain is here to offer you the sacred fire you require to purify your lives. And all the ascended hosts are coming in now to offer their ascended gifts to you. The only means to receive our help is through your heart and feeling side of life. That being the divine feminine. Adonai, dear friends of the divine feminine side of life. Adonai, Adonai, Adonai.